Well, hello everybody. It's a brand new day here on Sugar Cube Creek. And where my house is, is, is just a few miles from the Nevada border. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, today is Friday. And it is November 18th. I am, like I said, just a few miles away from the uh, Nevada border. And I am making a trip to um, northern Idaho. I'm going to go whitetail hunting for a couple days. Um, actually, until until next week. I'm going to be up there for a week. Um, I'm going up to, um, I guess it'd be the second Sugar Cube Creek. It's the Sugar Cube Creek that comes from the north. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off for right now. I'm gonna be hitting the road here in just a second. I'm going to uh, probably off and on update this throughout the week. I hope to get some pictures and some videos of of some uh, white tail. So until I until I start this up again, I'll see you in a little bit. Well. Um my last in my last video last section I was just leaving basically the Nevada border and since then I am almost on the Canadian border and I'm on a uh, whitetail hunt and I'd I brought my my hot rod Hawken with the hopes that I'd be able to to get in on them with it and it's been rainy the last few days and so I elected to bring my my 243 instead of my my um, hot rod hawking and I kind of wish I'd have brought my hot rod hawking this morning because I I got a deer um, this is my this is my buck right here he uh, he's a a little I guess I'd call him a three by three but but uh, the the eye guards do count he's uh, a nice little buck and that is my first white tail that I've ever that I have ever even had a chance to shoot at so he was he's a nice little buck for what I got um, Anyway, on this buck, I'm getting ready to to do the the bloody work. In the picture with me is Lewis. Lewis is the the fantastic friend of mine that that we met on line through my uh, YouTube videos, and he invited me up to to experience this with him, and and it was awesome. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. My brother. brother from another mother. Anyway, I'm going to get busy on this little buck here in just a minute. And we're going to see if we can get him emptied out and up to the truck. So until then, I'm going to sign off for right now. Well, everybody, we're not on Sugar Cube Creek. We're back at Lewis's house, and I've got my deer here. I've got him hanging up. We're gonna skin him out, and uh, we'll get him wrapped up with some with some sheets, uh, and then we'll we'll be ready to go out and get another one. So I'm going to uh, show just a little bit on on uh, skinning, and then we're gonna call it good for a while. So until the next all right, section. everybody this is the the finishing touches we got this deer all skinned out he's he's shot in the shoulder uh right in the point of the shoulder and that's that's the only shot i had on him and i knew that i would be able to to break him down good with that this buck is is all skinned up and ready to go i got the head all all carved up the um this is the first day of of my hunting trip and so I'm I am sticking around here for a few more days as long as I don't wear out my welcome 
and uh, I'm going to uh, see if I can help uh, Lewis find him a deer and we're gonna see if we can maybe call in some coyotes or even a wolf so until we get to that point I'm gonna sign off for right now and and uh, we'll take this up later Well, good morning everybody. It's day two on my whitetail hunt. Uh, yesterday I got my, my whitetail and just a little bit ago, uh, I'm going to show that. No, maybe not. I thought I could switch my camera around, but just a minute ago, Lewis had a, had a pretty good shot at a uh, pretty nice buck. And uh, he missed a couple times with his rifle. And the buck showed himself up again, and he used my rifle, and uh, he's got a hit on that buck, and he's going to go over to where that buck is at, and I'm going to stay here and um, and give him directions as to where to go. I'm going to break for just a second, and then I'm going to take this back up so I can show that hillside where he was shooting onto. Okay. There's two tall trees that are alive and two small trees that are looking like they're dead. And they're all dark colored. The buck was right below the one on the left. The shot was right at 362 yards. So, um, Lewis is heading over there right now. And he's going to uh, see if he can find a blood trail. Well, hello everybody. We're still on the second day of our deer hunt, and uh, we had a little bit of of difficulty with with uh, some shooting this morning. And so what we did was we're gonna come down today, and we're gonna shoot a little bit and see where this gun is shooting. And uh, one of the things that Lewis wanted to do was was to shoot the hot rod hawk, and and so. I, I brought the hot rod out today and and uh, Lewis is going to get a chance to to uh, tear it up with it so I'm going to show that a little bit and I'm going to uh, get a few pictures of him shooting that thing too so stay tuned. Well, let's go see what happened. This is the third day of my whitetail hunt, and there is a very rare sight for up here is a moose. Seen her yesterday for a little bit. Well, good morning, everybody. It's not Sugar Cube Creek. I'm on the Canadian border. Well, not on the exact border. I am about 50 miles off the Canadian border, and this is my final day in northern Idaho. Um, I had a wonderful time. I I was I was very fortunate to be able to get my uh, white tail on the on the very first morning, um, and I am not the kind of person that will that will turn down something on the first day that I'll shoot on the last day. So it was a nice little buck. I got him. He's in the he's in my camper right now. I wanted I want to have a short sh shout out to uh, Lewis and Jackie. Lewis and Jackie had me up here to northern Idaho to hunt whitetail with them. They were fantastic people and I just absolutely love them. They're, they are, they will always be my friends. Um, 
And so for that, I am on my way back. I've got about a 12, 13 hour drive. I don't know if I'm gonna do it all today. I might, I'll just see how it, how it goes. But uh, this, is, this is the last uh, big game hunt I have for 2016. Um, I hope this video, I hope this video works out. I hope that it, that it, uh, it's a little bit entertaining. But anyway, until next time, I'll see you on Sugar Cube Creek.